Hello. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so the last part we are going to do today is the imperfection of solids, imperfection in solids. Imperfection is nothing but defects. Okay, we also call it as defect. So what is defect or what is imperfection? It is the departure of uh, a crystal which is there in ordered arrangement. Means when the arrangement is different, okay. For any crystal, we have seen the various structures, right? NaCl and other crystals, we have seen the structures. So that is the definite arrangement we have, ordered arrangement we have. If there is any departure from that particular arrangement or any change in the arrangement of the crystal, by any means, like suppose if you heat it or suppose if you add an impurities, okay. So any one of these things will change the property of the solids or crystals. So that change in property, that departure from the ordered arrangement is called imperfection or defects in solid, okay. So write down this, imperfection or defect is the, imperfection or defect is the departure from is the departure from perfectly ordered arrangement perfectly ordered arrangement of constituent particles of constituent particles in the crystal of constituent particles in the crystal next write down perfect or ideal crystal perfect or ideal crystal exists only at absolute zero temperature that is zero kelvin perfect or ideal crystal exist only at absolute zero temperature or zero kelvin okay next line this imperfection can be uh, intrinsic or extrinsic intrinsic or extrinsic extrinsic when we add some impurities into this intrinsic or extrinsic when you add some impurities or in presence of impurities will have extrinsic imperfection impurities for example you see if you have gemstones gemstones are the crystal of al2o3 It is a crystal of Al2O3 and the pure thing is this, the perfect uh, crystal that we have, ideal crystal that we have, it is colorless, okay, it is colorless in nature. When you add some impurities into this, that is extrinsic imperfection, if you add some impurities, like, you know, iron, Fe3 plus iron, if it is present into this, its color is blue, okay, sapphire blue, exact color if you see. Or if it contains Cr3 plus iron with it, its color is ruby red. 
this color is because of the change in color is because of the impurities present into this okay so because of impurities maybe the property of the solid or crystal changes or it will have a new properties or the color of the crystal changes okay so all these things uh, you know uh, shows the imperfection in solids okay now imperfection we have three types mainly we have two types but total different classification of imperfection you see we have three types of imperfection first one is electronic imperfection electronic imperfection as the name suggest it is because of the movement of electrons the second one is atomic imperfection it is because of the movement of atoms atoms or ions atomic imperfection or atomic defects and the third one is line defects which we also call it as dislocations or dislocation okay line defects is nothing much we have a solid crystal and the edge of the side changes there will be some imperfection into that that we call it as line defect okay dislocation about a point or a longer edge that is line defects or dislocation defects atomic defects or electronic defects like i said this is because of the movement of electrons and this is because of the movement of atoms or ions okay this atomic defects further classified into different categories okay we'll write down everything here but we'll discuss only few things which are important here. okay you can go through ncrt it's given over there you can just read once not much important these things are what are important things i'll tell you atomic defects we have three types the first one is stoichiometric defect the second one is non stoichiometric and the third one is third one is we have impurity defects give me just one second okay so impurity defects stoichiometric defects and non stoichiometric defects okay stoichiometric defects further it is classified into different different categories okay like there are four different types of defect into this non stoichiometric defects are also further classified okay so that's why i'm telling you if you look at all these things we have a lot of theory to go through it okay so everything is not important but i would suggest just ncrt you have to read once i'll just write down all the names here and just tell you the important points one two important points that we have here and few things which are important that we'll discuss after this in detail okay stoichiometric defects we have four different types one is one is vacancy defect vacancy defect other one is interstitial defect interstitial defect next one we have uh, 
short key defect. Short key defect. And one more we have that is Frankel defect. Okay. Both are very much similar. Means this two belongs to this two is defined for non ionic solids. The type of imperfection is almost same, but this two is defined for non ionic solids. And this two is defined for ionic solids. Okay, type is same, okay? but for ionic, the name is Schottky and Frankel. And here it is vacancy and uh, interstitial defects. Okay. Ionic solids and non-ionic defects, the only difference is here the you know, crystal maintains its uh, neutrality, electrical neutrality it maintains over here. Okay, so in all these things, till now you can say 90% of the time they have asked question on Frankel and Schottky. Okay, now coming back to non-estoichiometric defects, okay, this also we have two, three types, okay? Like metal excess defect and metal deficiency defect. Two types we have here, non metal. This is metal excess defect and metal deficiency defect. metal excess defect and metal deficiency defect. Okay, now you see at the, as the name suggests here, metal excess defect means what? We have more metals present, metal ions will be more. That is metal excess defect, okay? So metal ions would be more. So how do we get more number of metal ions? Again, we have two, three categories for this. Okay, it means we can have metal excess defect in two different ways. One is when we remove some anion from the crystal, right? Initially we have electrical neutrality. So metals, positive ions and negative ions are same. So if you remove the anions, we'll have more number of metal ions present. Metal ions means cations we're talking about, right? So in that way we can achieve this metal excess defect we may have. Another way is what? You add more amount of metal ions onto that, okay? So the first case by which the metal excess defect possible, that is the anion vacancy by the removal of anions. So in this thing, we have two different ways by anion vacancies, by having anion vacancies. Means what anion you are removing from the site. So eventually what is happening? The metal ion is getting more, the number of metal ions is increasing in the crystal. That's why we have metal excess defect. This anion vacancy, we call it as F center. Okay. So we call it as F center. On this also, they have asked a few questions. Okay. So one, two, three, these three points are only important. Okay. But yes, you have to go through once the NCRT. Okay. So that you will have the idea of what all things here. So metal excess defect, one possibility is by removing anions. Another possibility is what? by the presence of extra ions, means extra cations, not ions, extra cations. If you add extra metal ions into that, in that way also, we have metal excess present in the crystal, and hence that also leads to metal excess defect. Okay? Metal deficiency defect is just opposite of that, remove metal ions from the crystal. Right, so few properties of this will tell you. Impurity defects is what? It is the same thing. Suppose we have group 14 element, you must have done P-type, N-type semiconductor, right? Right, so that is the same thing we have here. Impurity defects is what? Suppose we have any group 14 elements, you add or you mix group 15 elements into group 14. So group 15 plus group 14 gives you what? More number of electrons. So we have N-type semiconductor here. That is impurity defects. Okay. In group 14, you add group 13, that is P-type semiconductor. So this kind of thing we have under impurity defects. So imperfection, we have these three types. In this, 
we'll discuss a little bit of electronic defects we'll discuss frankel and schottky okay important point difference into these two and we'll discuss anion vacancy okay a few properties we'll see in metal uh, deficiency defects also okay other things the deficiency part the imperfection part just go through ncrt that would be more than enough okay so first point you write down electronic defects electronic defects like i said it is due to the irregular arrangement of electron one second it is due to irregular arrangement of electrons so at zero kelvin there's no movement of electrons and hence we say no electronic movement i'm just giving you the key points here that is it no electronic movement and hence we do not have any conduction no conduction okay as temperature increases as temperature increases transition of electron takes place transition of electron takes this so basically electrons occupy higher energy state takes place and hence it shows conduction so when the electron leaves its original site or original position it creates a hole at its original position right so write down due to the movement of electrons due to movement of electrons holes creates and holes are represented by a small h here holes creates at the original position of electron where the electron was initially present original position of electrons holes create right next concentration of electron the concentration of electron is represented by is represented by a small n and that of hole is represented by a small p right concentration of electron is represented by a small n and that of holes is represented by small p both electron both electrons and holes both electrons and holes gives rise to electronic imperfection gives rise to electronic imperfection okay next write down atomic defects or point defects 
okay atomic defects or point defects are the same thing this type of defects observed due to movement of constituent particles due to movement of constituent particles so previously it was electrons here we have particles so two possibility we have when the particles are missing from its from its original position in the lattice right it is missing from the lattice completely another one that it occupies the interstitial sites on the same lattice okay it leaves its original position and occupies the interstitial sites okay both way this kind of defects possible okay so like i said the point defects are again classified into three categories that is stoichiometric defects and then we have non stoichiometric defects and then we have impurity defects so in stoichiometric defects we have first one we are going to see that is schottky defects schottky defects write down right on it generally observes in ab type crystal it generally observes in ab type crystal it generally observes in ab type of crystal a plus b minus ionic ab type of crystals and in this type equal number of cations and anions equal number of cations and anions are missing from their are missing from their original or normal lattice sites original sites so when they missing when they are missing from their original position it creates holes right it is observed in A strong ionic compounds like NaCl, KCl, KBr, CSCl, AgBr. AgBr also shows this. Okay, few properties of this kind of defect you must remember, like the ions are missing from their original sites. Hence, we can say density of the crystal. decreases in this type right stability also decreases lattice energy also decreases lattice energy and stability both decreases entropy because the disorderness is increasing it was originally it was ordered arrangement defects is all about uh, you know uh, the disorder arrangement right or the or the disorderness so we can say the entropy because the defect increases so property based question uh, they have asked in this okay short key defect examples and property based question okay now the second one is did you copy this
so. Hmm. Yeah. Second one is frontal defect. Write down. This type of defects observes when the ions in bracket you write down usually cations okay because of the ions usually cations of the lattice of the lattice occupy the interstitial interstitial sites leaving a corresponding number of normal site vacant means poles created repeating this is yeah uh, this kind of defects observes when some of the ions usually cations some of the ions usually cations of the lattice occupy interstitial sites interstitial sites leaving a corresponding number of holes next line it creates vacancy defect it create vacancy defect at original site because you know the position is getting vacant right so vacancy defect at original sites and interstitial defects at the new site new site means where the ions uh, you know goes the new site where the ions are present there we have interstitial defects interstitial defects and vacant defects at the original sites okay there are few uh, we have one condition one or two condition for this but obviously we have some exceptions also here uh, that's why i said you have to you know memorize this uh, for all those crystals whose coordination number is low coordination number is low can show this kind of defect okay condition size difference of anion and cation is more right so size of anion is bigger than or the size of anion should be bigger more than that of cation so in this case these two cases this kind of defect possible see alkali metal halides the size of cation and anion are very much similar like the difference is not that great hence alkali metal halides does not show this kind of defect okay write down this point the size difference in alkali metal halides is not high or more and hence frankel defect is not observed see the ions does not leave the site okay means leave the crystal it is present in the crystal only but not at its original position 
Okay, if you have NCRT, you can open it and you can see the diagram. Okay, or after the class, you can see. Right, so ions are present in the crystal, but not at its original site. So because of this only, the density change is not there. No change in density. No change in density. Here also, lattice energy and stability decreases. Decreases, disorderness increases. So entropy also increases. Okay. The molecule which shows this kind of defect is AgCl. AgBr, again, I'm writing it down here. It is important. It shows both defects. AgBr, AgI, ZNS, all these shows Frankel defect. So in AgBr, both Schottky and Frankel defect observe. Since AgBr is ionic, but again, the size difference is also very much. That's why Frankel it shows. Okay. Yes. Now we'll see one or two things in non stoichiometric defects. Non stoichiometric defects. Okay. This kind of defect observes in non stoichiometric crystals mainly. This uh, observes in non stoichiometric crystals. Okay, this also classified into various categories. Like I said, we have metal excess defect. So metal excess defect is possible in two different way. One is you add the metal ions in the crystal, we'll have excess of metal, metal excess defect. Other one, remove anion from the crystal. That is anionic vacancy. Write down in this type, metal ions or in this type, metal ions or cations metal ions or cations are in excess are in excess this defect may develop in two ways, this defect may develop in two ways. The first one is in two ways. The first one is when excess cation. Excess cation occupy occupy the interstitial position. So number of cations increases, metal excess defect. And the second one is we call it as anion vacancies. Anion vacancies.
write down in this. Write down when a negative ion negative ion is missing from its lattice sites when a negative ion is missing from its lattice sites leaving behind leaving behind a vacancy or a hole leaving behind a vacancy or hole which is occupied by which is occupied by by the electrons which is occupied by the electrons in order to maintain in order to maintain electrical neutrality to maintain electrical neutrality the trapped electrons are called f centers the trapped electron are called f centers f centers f centers which is responsible for which is responsible for imparting color to the crystals which is responsible for imparting color to the crystal which is responsible for imparting color to the crystal this defect is similar to schottky defect right similar to the schottky defect and it is observed in the crystal which shows schottky defect okay so this is f center just one thing you have to take care of write down one note greater the number of f center more will be the intensity of color greater the number of f center more will be the impurities uh, sorry the, the intensity of color okay so this is it for imperfection these two three things you know they have asked in the uh, exams okay but ncert like i said you must uh, you know go through um, it is completely theoretical you have to memorize certain things okay and that is it the first part you can understand everything logically all the you know positions of void and everything uh, but this thing you have to memorize another thing is what there is one more thing that is magnetic property that is paramagnetic behavior paramagnetic uh, diamagnetic behavior we have ferromagnetic substance anti ferromagnetic substance also there so for that it's not at all important but for that i will share one pdf okay 
So whenever you get time, you just go through that PDF. Uh, it is more than enough given into that. Fine. So this is it for this chapter. Okay. We are going to start next. Uh, that is chemical kinetics. Okay. Just one minute.